What is up everyone? Welcome back to Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. So we're going to recruit Monica, which is a new playable character. You cannot recruit Monica in the original game. Alright, Monica joins your party. So I decided to recruit her because she's a new character. She was obviously in the original game, but you could not recruit her. Um. So yeah, let's check her out here. She's an Imperial Knight by default. Starts with a Cutlass. A Hunting Bow. And Socks and Cloth, cloth Armor. Got very high agility. 17 agility, wow. That's the highest agility we've gotten so far. Let me check out um, Imperial Knight. Um, I think that's a Melvir though. I don't know if it's here or not. Oh, it is here, okay. So that's actually an advanced class. And this is my first plate the first playthrough so it's not recommended to use advanced classes so I'm probably gonna switch her to a different class I need to figure out what class I want to make her though I'm trying to think there was another new class I forget what it was and I, we have thug which is a new class there was another new class as well Crap, I don't remember what that one was. What do you want? Or where it was at either. I'm gonna find that new class and I'll be right back. Cause I don't remember what town it was in, so I'm just gonna go to all the different towns until I find it. And we'll um Sorry if you heard that. Well, wow. anyway, I'll bear it back whenever I find the new class. All right, so here's the new class here. You can get it in Uygenstadt, uh Squire. I'm going to make her a Squire, I guess. Um, it kind of fits her a little bit, right? And she already starts out with Shield and Greatsword proficiency. So it works out perfectly. And we'll get her up to level 3 and with that. Yep, that's fine. Alright, so there we go. We have Monica. New character. With... Uh, new class. I want to get her a longsword because... She May I help you? How can I help you? Needs a weapon, obviously. Uh the town sword is really good, but I think it's a bit bit much, right? Like I can get a weaker one for now. And not to spend three thousand. Cause I can get a fashionable helm for that price. I'm not really sure where you can buy a uh, not sure where you can buy uh what is it? Long swords. May I help you? you could buy a great sword here. I'd rather really use long swords though, honestly. Because with long sword shields actually work actually work. If you equip um If you equip a great sword and you equip a shield, it will not work. Let's see. Try Bru Bruel. 
I know I, I know we could buy cheaper uh, long swords though. May I help you? That's way too expensive as well. I do want to pick her up a fashionable helm. Come on, where are the long swords at? I'm also gonna need to get her a shield too, so I guess I'll give her the uh, this right here. Perfect. So that's 25 blocking, which is pretty good. Plus, plus she's shield level three, so it'll actually have more than that. Um. Dang, everywhere I go, they, um... They don't have enough. Or everywhere I go, there's no longsword. Um, I'm just, I'll just cut the video here until I find where I can buy a long, longsword. It's gonna take too long for me to find it on the video, so... I think you can buy one in, um, Weston, if I'm not mistaken. So I might have to go to Weston to get one. But I'll be right back whenever I find one that's cheap enough. Alright, so I'm going to buy the Walloon Sword here. Uh, from Weston. I was right, there was one in Weston. Steel God. Is that a new weapon? Or Steel Gad? I don't remember that weapon. Steel Song. Is that new too? I don't remember that weapon being there. Hello. Anyway. Good to leave here. But yeah, we got Monica. We'll give her the balloon sword. And I'll probably give her some, st I have some stuff in storage I need to give her. I'll give her some leather boots, of course. Let's see here. I need some, something on the hands. Let's see what we can retrieve here. Studded gloves, that'll work. And we can give her a leather jerkin too. So I guess what I'm gonna have to, what I'm gonna have to end up doing is removing Sif from the party to recruit another character I plan to recruit later. Um, I hate to do it, though. I might actually just keep Sif. And then recruit the other character in another playthrough, maybe. I'll have to see. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. But anyway, we're going to do another quest in this episode. I just wanted to do all that with... Um... Oh, uh, Monica... Alright, so we can't do any more quests right now until we get to event rank 7. We're almost there anyway, so might as well go to the new road. And just fight some battles out here. Until we get to event rank 7. And I get to show off Monica. So that's nice. Do cutting lunge of her. Oh, 
I knew you could do it. Yeah. Thanks, Goaha. Cross-cutting lunge. Nice. Strength, Dex, Charisma, Compassion, BP, Tauti, Strength, Compassion. How is Monica on her stats anyway? Oh, she gets plus 4 BP every round. That's nice. It's pretty good. That's more than everybody else. And she starts out, or she caps at 16 BP. She also has 14 life points. Her stats are good all around, honestly. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, let's go fight some more battles and then. I'll make sure my event rank didn't go up. One, two, three. Nope, hasn't went up yet. Nice. No stats up there. Where'd it go? Might as well speed it up here. Cause all we're doing is grinding to get battle rank anyway. Willpower Charisma, nice double weed seed, nice as a material. Uh, looks like we're still battle rank six. Keep battling here. Does this thing bleed? Drink HP. Still rank six. Ooh, got another treasure map. Nice. Let's see where its area it is now. Okay, plains map. Okay. Could go dig those up, honestly, but I think I'll do that. Whoa, four hit combo. <laughs> wow. Another four combo. Bit overkill here. Vitality for Monica there.
Nope, still event rank six. I'm about to keep going. HP. Nope, not yet. Okay, what this symbol does, um, actually, I'm not really sure what this does. I think you have a chance of like not attacking or something like that. Oh, we got another treasure map. Oh, right, we're now event rank seven. Nice. West Cave map. Okay. Oh crap! I didn't mean to. Well, we could just flee. It's fine. No big deal. I don't know why I said dang for it. It's not like I can't flee. Okay, we got some. Do some harvesting, I guess. Go back here and make sure there's no other spots to use fine herb. I hear a zombie. All right, I need to restore my smoke bombs. Hello, will you be staying with us tonight? I wish you can get more than um. More than 10 smoke bombs. I wonder if you can. Would be nice. Okay, anyway, vent rank 7 now. So now he teaches you when to learn even more advanced things. Stuns, shocks, and snares. We're gonna go ahead and store some stuff here. Get rid of pretty much everything. We don't need any of this stuff right now. I guess I can give that to Monica. Doesn't really do anything though. I think we should go to these treasures, honestly. Like they're only level one, so I can actually dig them up and everything. Like this west cave, that's pretty easy to get to. We can get that pretty easily. Find treasure. Excavate. That's really all you need. Well, I guess pick locks just in case it's locked. But I think I'd rather have move silently and lurk. So I guess I'll do that as well. Sorry, that was my alarm. It scared me. <laughs> I was focused on the game and then my alarm goes off. I need to get up and walk. Alright, anyway. Let's go to the West Cave. I'll show you how the treasure map system works 
Should be easy to get the West Cave. Right over here. I want to set up Lurk and... It's better to have... Oh, nope. Okay, we're good. So this allows us to avoid the enemies. Except for the slimes, you can't... You can't avoid them with that. I bet the, the treasure is... What is this? This must be like fine chest or something. Go ahead and do these. To avoid the enemies up ahead here. Oh crap, I might need jump. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yep. It does wear off after a while, Lurk and move silently. I did forget that I needed a. Uh, crap. There we go, we're good. Hopefully we don't, hopefully it's in another spot and we don't need jump. I did forget about that though. We can fight these things again. You know what, I'm good. Let's just go get ju uh, jump. I did forget that I need to jump. So we'll equip that real quick. Let's see. We'll get rid of... Probably pick locks. Alright, we'll go back... West Cave. What? I just used Lurk. How the heck did that happen? Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and run from him anyway. There's a lot of enemies over there in that corner. Ah, great. If I jump over there, they're going to chain. Which I guess is okay. But let's go this way first. We might not need to go over there. Uh, I don't even know if the treasure's over here. I 
is the problem. If it's not over here, I'm just going to reload my save. By the way, that grind ability the enemy just used, if you're casting a spell, it'll cancel it. That's what that does. Those enemies are like the anti-magic enemies. I wish it was always this easy. Okay, I guess that's fine. I'll I'll leave that bat I'll take that battle. It's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna jump over here. If there's no treasure over here, then I'm just gonna load up my save. Cause they're gonna chain here. But I'm looking for the treasure. So it's not really worth it if the treasure's not here. Oh, three of them things. I, didn't, I thought there was just two. Yeah, I definitely will probably want to restart here if there's... Yeah, there's no... Unload that back up there. Treasure wasn't over there, so... So it's either deeper into the cave. Like over this way. Oh, we can go this way now. Okay, so we'll just retreat from all the enemies here. Come on. You gotta try to lure them out so they don't chain. See? Just lure them away from the other enemies. It's the best way to do it. Go ahead and retreat. And again, if you're playing the PS2 version, you're kind of screwed because uh, these the PS2 version you have to play completely different than this version of the game because. In the PS2 version, I wouldn't even recommend going for these treasure maps until you do quest. Once you do some quest, uh, then you can come here and do them. Because it's hard to avoid enemies in the PS2 version. Okay, here's the treasure right here. So what you do is you use find treasure and then you excavate. And then you just open the treasure. 1600 gold and 20 jewels and an al Alvester ring. Increase intellect and willpower, compassion and charisma. So it boosts all spellcasting stuff now just increase uh, increasing the willpower is good enough because willpower affects your magic defense so 
That's definitely worth it. We'll give her that as well. I wouldn't go down that way. It like teleports you somewhere, I think. We don't need to bother with that right now. We'll come back and do that some other time. Alright, I'm actually going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later. Going back to Tarb Minute to heal my smoke bombs. <laughs>